Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how absolutely incredible these action figures look. I can't wait to show you just how incredible they are. These are the brand new Spider-Man Retro Series action figures from Hasbro. They look wonderful. You can find them just about anywhere right now. That is if they're not sold out. And you're not gonna wanna miss this. They look so great and we're gonna go ahead and dive on right on in. What do you say we go ahead and get started? Right! Now. What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super God, is this great! Okay, and second to last in the set, since we've already started with these great four action, and trust me, they're amazing. The amazing Spider-Man set. Here is our Gwen Stacy. Look at this awesome character card here. Packaging looks, wow, look! Green Goblin, straight cold chilling through the keyhole. And um, peg hole. And you know what? Can't wait to get this open. Looks so great. Textbook accessory. And, uh, hmm, exclamation point as if it's so exciting to have a textbook. But, uh, whatever. <laughs> and newspaper or whatever we got going on there. Here's the other ones that We've already done our, these four right here, and we have this one, and we have Daredevil to do after this. Same character card. Let me bring us up just a little bit higher as we take a look at this. Swap out heads. And again, I'm like, I'm assuming, could be wrong. You, know, you can let me know in the comments, but that this would be a Mary Jane Watson here. And Gwen Stacy head here. We could swap it out. We could get two of these figures, but um, then they'd be wearing the same outfit. You'd have to paint it. I like the way the sweater looks like that. Uh, I am a little concerned. <laughs> those figures, those fingers are so short. Look how long these are. And uh, I'm gonna have to swap that hand out with, with another figure that we have somewhere else because it's like, they're missing like a whole digit. They like really shorten them. Anyway, let's take a look at the back and not get too hung up on that part. So, Gwen Stacy, a bright student with a queen, a bright student with a keen scientific mind, Gwen Stacy is girlfriend to Peter Parker. Nice. So, let's get this on open. We're gonna shimmy this out of here. Look at this. So we can definitely protect our action figure when not being displayed and not ruining the package. So it'll still hold it well. Look at that. There we go. I'm able to slide it right on over here. Perfect. Let's get her on out aside and slide our package right on it. Ooh, this one's not happy to come out. <laughs> okay. And what do we have here? A trapper keeper? <laughs> Interesting. Sure looks like it. Okay. We have Midtown High School. This textbook. Paper, but I'm gonna pop it up in the back because it's not coming out. Look at that. You can just hand this to Peter Parker if we want. Let's pop her on out. Let's take a look at these two head sculpts. So, take a look at our Gwen Stacy head. Looks good, except for the fact that we have some smudges here. Let's see. If I can't just get that to just come off. No, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see if I can get that to come off or take a little blemish off another time. There are two blemishes right here directly on the face. It's unfortunate, but they will come off. Um, head sculpt overall looks well. I, I like it. Um, the hair looks nice and flowy. That looks good. 
and there's a ridiculous amount of articulation and because the hair is flowing up you can actually move it a whole lot look at that okay so the arm goes all the way around and wow look at that actually moves very well if we can move the arms at a 90 degree angle with the elbow um, this jacket again can come off kind of like our Peter Parker one but then you'd still have green sleeves so it wouldn't make much sense I like the way this texture looks it looks like it's cloth even though it's just hard plastic um, she does pivot a little bit right here and turn right below the rib cage this is soft plastic for the skirt um, and it has a cut right here there and it's probably not supposed to be the style it's probably just so we can move the legs to, to pose them so it's really probably supposed to look like this and not that it's cut all the way up to there um, let's see oh we have more paint and whatever smudging going on um, this jacket this green trench coat whatever you want to call it here uh, looks really cool I love the way the this belt is kind of just open right here and just kind of hanging down so that it's a nice little touch um, I'm trying not to call too much attention to the hands this hand is one that is used fairly often with female characters and it does a great job of moving and the fingers are usually pretty long and it's uh, the sculpt has a little bit of parts that are kind of from from the mold that I'm not super happy about we can probably just sand those down and cut them off but here's the hand what happened to the thumb first of all look at that with the kind of sand that down that looks crazy and what happened to the back of her hand maybe it was just an accident but what's the deal here looks like she had like all sorts of surgeries on this hand um, and then to top it off it's not even pivoting on that joint so maybe I just got bad luck with the hand and didn't notice it I'm gonna be looking for that going forward look at that what happened maybe it's just mine so let me know in the comments if you have a hand that's all jacked up and melted looking like the one I have. Look at that. What in the world? I'm hoping that it's just a blemish and that they're not all like that. Okay, so we have double joints of the knees and she poses really great there. And they're nice and solid feeling actually, especially for being such thin legs. Um, we have great articulation here on the boots. Uh, we can pivot, look at that. And of course we can turn, the legs probably turn on the high part of the thigh. And they do, um, I'm assuming they can come to a 45 degree angle, it's just this is kind of restricting it. But um, otherwise, it's pretty great. She's probably going to be able to hold this book. Nope. Trapper Keeper. Nope. There we go, we can hold it from that side. So, um, not exactly sure what's supposed to be going on with this hand, unless she's handing something over. <laughs> There we are. And she could be like, trying to gather her stuff, I don't know. <laughs> but um, anyway, the hands are kind of awkwardly posed, um, as far as sculpted for a pose. But I am digging this head sculpt after all. And I'm curious if this really is Mary Jane Watson, this, this head is even better than that one. So let's see what it looks like on the body. There we are. And it looks even better. It has like, oop, I didn't anticipate popping that off on accident. Just pop that right back on. There we go. And the hair is soft enough to be able to pose inside or outside. Look at that. You can put it in the, inside the coat. Or whatever. And then here it is soft enough to still be, to be able to move the head. And this head sculpt is is nicer, even though the other one's good. Um, I don't have all those crazy artifacts on there. So do we prefer Gwen Stacy or do we prefer Mary Jane Watson? Vote in the comments below. So do you want me to switch it back? I don't know. I'm kind of digging this one now. Even though this is Gwen Stacy, um, I think this one might actually look better. So there we go. I, I guess just because it's Gwen Stacy, I'll let her stay with that. But um, all right, and the leg, all of a sudden it got loose. Look, randomly after I just bragged about how good it was. 
So let me see what pose I can get her and to make sure it stands up also because these feet are really small. Give me a second. All right, now I hate to say that her feet and her ankles aren't really made to stand up well um, without some sort of stand or, you know, base, but was able to get them to like spread them a little bit and kind of be out at those angles. And you can put this in her hands, I guess, to give her something to do with the crazy um, hand sculpts they gave her. And we can just set her up right over here. And so that's not too bad, actually. Not too bad. We are limited, and we will, um, it's like toe tapping. <laughs> it actually looks pretty great at this moment. So I kind of lucked out. So, okay, great. Uh, I actually really like that action figure. And I think I have already made up my mind. I do prefer the. Um, the head for Mary Jane Watson, but we'll leave that one for now. I'll put the newspaper and everything back in here for a moment, and we'll move on. Okay, awesome. Oh, and did I remember to give you the the UPC for um, our Gwen Stacy? Let me show that. I definitely don't want to have missed that if I showed all the other ones. So there you go. Get your picture, so on. That we can find that one too.